Question 880. <laughs> Would you rather have the living face of your mostly absorbed twin in your gut to pass comment and chat with you when you are lonely or live on top of a pole in the desert for 30 years like Simeon Stilitis? Stilitis? Stilitis. Fucking stupid. Oh, uh, that question. <laughs> so again? we would. Would it be the flagpole citizen? Talking would be interesting. <laughs> I, I'm assuming it's like the flagpole sitter song. Well, the what? Flagpole sitter. It's a song. Is it? Oh, I love that yes. song. It was an Eve Six or something. That was a good song. Good song. <laughs> okay, somebody sing it for Army me. Danger. <laughs> no, we <laughs> me copyright struck. Well, there, can you sing first? <laughs> it's the one that talks about paranoia, paranoia, they're coming to get me, is part the first part of it. Uh, How many years do you have to sing on the pole? 30 years, no, screw that. I'll, I'll have years. the face I can talk to. You'll have the face you can talk to. You don't want to live on a pole. He lived there for 30 years. No, I do not want to live years. on a fucking pole. Uh, Jenny says, I spent my adult pretending not to be afraid of spiders because in the car... Is. You got to be tough. Now retired, I have reverted to being a screaming girl about spiders. And you know, I've always been a screaming girl about spiders. Um, <laughs> sorry. No, that's the worst thing is that the worst thing is that's not strictly true. I didn't used to be afraid of them. It was my sister's reactions to them that made me afraid. Oh. But that's oh, not relevant to standing PTSD, on a pole. Spider PTSD, Dave. <laughs> Probably. I noticed you're not bouncing as much tonight, Dave. Are you a bit worried about that ball? <laughs> My ball popping, yes. <laughs> <laughs> right, who wants the living face? Who wants to live on a pole for 30 years? Living face. Yeah. Oh. Why? By what? He had, he had a good life Why on the, the pole. Why the pole? He That's preached it. to people. Yeah. Did you not see the end of Future Man 3? Go spend meditation and all that time. You know, I, I can become the higher form yeah, of... Yeah, she realized that it was a waste of fucking time. <laughs> no, she didn't. Yes, she did. No, she didn't. <laughs> oh, okay. So. He fell asleep. <laughs> she did. She did. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to be on the pole. Manda and Jen so far are taking the, uh, the, the twin. I'm amused yeah. that Manda's taking the twin. She didn't take the twin yesterday. No. <laughs> you could scratch your belly and pick your nose so at the same more. time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Beth? Uh, just get that strap around ball gag that we talked about. <laughs> we talked about. <laughs> exactly. We're going to ball gag it. It'll be fine. Actually, I was kind of going there in my head, Manda. I was thinking, well, I guess the good thing is, is if, if I was ever raped, I could make my twin take it. Um... <laughs> Yeah. If, uh, the stubbing blowjob is what you're this, talking about. <laughs> you taste this, it's really good. I could get my twin to taste it. You know, use them as a, like a guinea pig for stuff. I you could like vomit out your good. stomach if you're ill. That'd be awesome. No, uh, it's closer to the toilet. It would be easier. Yeah, it's way easier. <laughs> I don't look, know you the wouldn't way have that... to bend down as far to give a blowjob either. You guys were torment your poor twin. Good for the knees. <laughs> Don't be no blowjobs. Again, you guys would torment your poor twin. <laughs> yeah, apparently so. They would torture them. Right, I, I have to. I'd probably, I'd probably like put a shirt and a jack on so nobody knew, and then have them talk and just sit there and look at people, and everybody would think I'm like this awesome ventriloquist, and I'd be rich. <gasps> you could, you could take it, you could take up doing ventriloquism. You'd be perfect at it. That would be funny. <laughs> I would. And no one would ever know my true identity. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Super she, twin belly. <laughs> until she screams out that she's but trapped really, in your belly. Yes, yeah, such great screaming. Really, let let's out. be it's honest. Does does anybody want me to really have two mouths? <laughs> I talk enough. Oh hell it yeah! I mean, but, I, mean two, I, I have bad. to address something in the I chat. I mean, then you could have two women at once. Uh, B. Not only would you have two mouths, you'd be two faced. Go on, Sarah. I'm listening. <laughs> I mean, you could, you could have two women at once. So you, could, you could pleasure one, your twin could pleasure one, and then you could switch. It'd be fun. You'd have to stack what the women. What makes you think I can't do that without my twin? <laughs> I mean, you could, but 
It, it'd be a great excuse for your for use for your twin. Just saying. You, know, but you can I'm do two now, babe. You can do four. Firing. Exactly. It takes a lot of energy. Yeah, but, yeah. But, but think about it. You could just lie back and let your twin do all the work. The chat said, "Can pass comment and chat when you are lonely." It said nothing about performing oral sex for you. <laughs> I mean, that's a pretty useless um, twin if it doesn't perform a world sex or something. I mean, like, I'm serious. Yeah. Uh, let me go and ask some other twins if that makes a twin useless. <laughs> right. Look, you gave us some parameters, we went with them. <laughs> yes, and I'm the one Are that you? gets screwy with the parameters, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> What's your answer, yeah, Dave? Yeah. <laughs> I haven't got to the end of Would the Would you let your stomach twin give oral sex? <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> right, wait a minute. I have to address something in the chat. I've been trying to for ages. Jenny says, that's why we watch We're All Rooting for the Ball. What I want to know is, when they're rooting for the ball, what do they mean? They want it to pop. How is that they rooting for pop. the ball? The ball doesn't they're like popping. They're actually rooting against the ball, and I noticed that comment. Exactly. Yeah. Maybe maybe they think that once the ball pops, the ball is liber liberated. It's like, no, he throws the ball away after it pops. <laughs> it's still free from having to touch his ass. He would like to he touch my ass. clothes. You can't, you can't sit on that without clothes on. They're plastic. His balls would stick to it. Sometimes. We know he has to. So gotta have at least... He might enjoy that, B. You don't I, know. We cannot I see the bottom half wear of that. Pants. Do not kink shame. So not usually, right. there you go. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it depends whether he's got the dildo attachment attached. <laughs> I, I'd be disappointed in, in him if he did. Just saying. <laughs> Aunt Jer says, is there a flat surface on the pole like maybe a hut? There's no hut that is a flat surface. It was apparently several meters, several feet wide. You could walk around at the top. Oh, well, I didn't know all that. Tell me more. Is there shade? A breeze? In the pit, there's definitely a breeze. <laughs> You're like 30 foot in the air. Sandstorms? Yes, it was See, at the side of the, the desert. That whole <laughs> sandstorm thing. No, I'll go with you the gut twin. Ah, oh, yeah, no, you wouldn't be up there in the sandstorm. Imagine. Oh, yeah. Oh, as sand is bad enough anyway without being 30 foot up on a pole in the sandstorm. <laughs> you know, you'd never have sex on a beach. Oh god, yeah, I'm so far behind in the chat. Great. I've had sex on a beach. What are you talking about? I'm not talking about the drink. Several times. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had the drink. The ocean is fine, it's getting but... rid of the sand afterwards that's the problem. Mm, yeah. <laughs> no, you put a blanket down. Come on, people. Let's be civilized. <laughs> okay. I Beaches in Australia tend to be freaking windy. You put a beach towel, you put a blanket down, and it ends up covered in sand anyway. And then you end up with sand where you don't want it, and then it, yeah, no. Do I have to teach you guys how to have sex on the beach? Okay, you bring the blanket up, fold it. Don't mind if you want to do that. And you babe. lay it down, and then you crawl inside of it. No, no, no. Teaching no is requires a demonstration. Demonstration, yeah. <laughs> Yes, well, we, I we need took pictures back then because I've done it several times. No, we need but we need I a video tutorial, please. Mm. Yeah, video tutorial that works. Yes. Yeah, video tutorial. There was <laughs> one time we were like doing it right at dusk, and a couple walked by and tried to figure out why there was a lump under the blanket and there was only one head sticking out. But you know, whatever. <laughs> Shit happens. <laughs> Thank you. Uh... <laughs> Sweet, I like my mods. Right. <laughs> so, B, you didn't answer the question. Pole or face? Or twin? I did too. No, you discussed it. You didn't answer. No, I said if it, you're going to deal with sandstorms and heat and blah, 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 I wouldn't be able to handle that. I, Fair enough. I am too. I'm, in a, I'm a spoiled merkin. So I'll Merka. go with the gut twin. Sarah. Merka. I said, I said twin. You said twin. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. Amanda. I said it already. 
I just I, thought we were going back around the panel again, so I was just oh. asking everybody. <laughs> <laughs> If you enjoyed that, please hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down. If you think you've got a better answer or just want to tell us how wrong we are, leave a comment down below. Subscribe down here for new questions every day and make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss out on our live shows. If you click over here, you'll see our latest upload. Over here for what YouTube thinks you'll love the most. And finally, for a complete playlist of all our currently recruited least questions, click here.